hell yeah. So relaxing. I wonder where are my viewers while I'm chilling on the beach right now. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Wicked Android HD and today I have the honor and the pleasure to show you a really quick tutorial and very really interesting one uh, that uh, shows you how to backup and restore your IMEE which stands for International Mobile Station Equipment Identity. What is IMEE? It's mainly a number, usually unique, um, which is used to identify mobile phones like the Galaxy S4 I have here and um, as well as some satellites phone. Um, the IMA number, I, I like to call it IMA because it sounds more realistic, is used by a GSM network to, in order to identify a valid device and therefore can be used for stopping a stolen phone from accessing that network. So for example, if my uh, phone was stolen by someone, let's say, like that, and he wants to, you know, uh, download tons and tons of gigabytes from my network data, and uh, that will eventually exceed my data plan and the cost, you know, uh, will be enormous. Um, I, I should go to an orange shop and then tell them the I may and they will block the they will blacklist the phone so no one can access the network from that phone. Uh, in this tutorial I will show you a simple way on how to back up and restore the I may on the Galaxy S4 as well as uh, something that is potentially illegal in your country and that means the changing that you can change your I may using uh, an application an exposed module which I will show you. This is the exposed module, it's called Phone ID Changer. Okay, so let's get into the backup and restore uh, part. You have a link right down to the description, please make sure you click it and then download that zip and then store it on your internal SD card. I will boot up into the recovery menu in order to flash it. So while this device is booting into recovery. I have to say that, for example, in UK, the act of changing the IMA of the phone or possessing equipment that can damage it or change it is considered an offense under some circumstances. So it may be the changing of the IMA may be illegal in the country, so you may have to check out the law, the law of, um, of your country and uh, see if it's Ill illegal or not. So everything can be changed. Uh, right now my phone is booting into recovery. I forgot to say that you need a recovery, you need a phone with root access. And thanks to Antares One for making this beautiful script that we will run into terminal um, emulator later. Emulator later, yeah, 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 sounds pretty well. Um, and I'll show you how to back up your internal uh, email. So click install right now and then browse where you have your uh, IMA backup tool as you may see as for LT. So this is for i9505. Uh, I'll put a link in the description with all the, the because uh, all the phones that these uh, scripts support uh, because it will run, it will eventually run on the um, Exynos processor and on other T-Mobile branded phones, for example, or Sprint, something like that. So swipe to confirm flash. As you may see, Qualcomm Snapdragon 600, six, uh, yeah, 600. And then all you have to do is to reboot your system. So yeah, um, I'll get back to you guys after my device completely boots up. Okay guys, I'm back after the booting process of my device and then after you flashed the zip uh, you'll need to get this application called terminal em emulator for android and then simply click open now please make sure you check out the instructions uh, i know they are tiny and uh, most of you won't see a damn thing i'm trying to focus as properly as possible keep my device steady You'll have to write SU, SU 
stands for super user and will grant the permission the terminal emulator will will have the permission of accessing root as you may see it says root um, gflt and all, all all you have to type is um, ema bkp which stands for B backup bkp okay i don't know if you can see a damn thing i don't on uh, my uh, dslr screen and uh, just click enter and then as you may see it says antares one i may backup tool galaxy s4 checking device galaxy s4 found checking backup backup not found do you want to make it now and then simply click one which is the shortcut for yes and as you may see it says backup afs and everything the magic the black magic is happening right now and right now it's it says operation successfully completed feel free to make a donation if you find this useful so thanks again and Terrace one for making this quick okay so after you close it and let's say we open it again and check out for the backup again email bkp it says backup found do you want to restore it now so if you uh, have changed your email or have lost it uh, during some bad flashing process all you have to do is to click yes um, i won't show you where it's situated because it's some somewhere in the email backup folder on to the sd card it's uh, pretty useless to know where's, where, what's there and uh, right now i'll show you an application actually not uh, gonna discuss this furthermore because uh, somewhere it's illegal somewhere somewhere in this uh, world world and uh, again you have to click to check out uh, to write imei and then uh, uh, go into the phone id changer this is an exposed module so you need exposed module in order to make it work so download it activate it and then make sure you open up the app and see what it does so that was for today guys i hope you like it if you did please make sure you thumbs up and subscribe right now to my channel again seascape beautiful seascape beautiful wallpaper and uh, thank you for watching this was wicked android hd bye bye